Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you some cool tools, some new things in Adobe Illustrator that is going to make your life easier. These are some new updates in Adobe, so let's jump in. So first I'm going to create a circle real quick. I'm going to create a new copy, cut it. And now, you know, usually you have the rotation tool. It's somewhere around this. So this is the rotation tool. Now there is a new alternative. You go to the object, you go to repeat and radial. And this is Adobe's new approach with the rotation. And this is gonna make your life easier, of course. As you can see, if I pull this, it's gonna start removing the copies or adding more copies. And this start, starting to add even more. As you can see, I kinda mess this up so I gonna okay and there's like another option I think this was that yeah so this is going to increase the hole inside or decrease also so it's pretty nice it's pretty handy uh, and you also can double click on this whole thing I'm gonna double click one of the shapes and you can edit this one and the whole thing is going to edit so this is pretty cool uh, yeah, so you can uh, double click somewhere on the screen and it's going to go back to normal. And this is how you edit this thing. It's pretty cool. It's uh, way easier. You know, you can do way better stuff. It's like a mix of uh, Distort and Transform and uh, this tool, like the Rotate tool. Okay, second option. I'm going to make a square. I'm going to create a butterfly real quick. A geometrical butterfly reflect yeah it's the O anyways I'm gonna decrease this group it and now we're gonna go to object repeat there's like a new thing it's called mirror and this is going to mirror everything so this is the nice stuff in this uh, Adobe didn't have this before, but uh, other creators had discovered that uh, you also can do this with the distort and transform manually and create this effect. It's a little bit more difficult. And now finally, this whole thing got simplified with this effect. So you can do whatever you want it. Uh, in the other direction, it's gonna, you know, uh, edit. So if I edit this one, it's gonna edit that one. So it's like pretty cool. Next gonna go let me check it if I go and expand because right now it's grouped the whole thing but you still can do the mirror trick you can double click and you know it's still got the effect on so I'm gonna go and object expand click OK it didn't do much so if I'm gonna unite them it's gonna create a box so there's like something going on around on group on group release clipping mask so we got a clipping clipping mask going on it's right this stuff we're gonna delete that this and now we're good so we got a pretty nice form in here i like actually this one okay uh next effect go to object repeat and grid yeah it's the grid so this thing creates patterns, basically. It's uh, an easier approach of the Adobe's, like another approach how you can create uh, patterns because we already have a pattern option in here. Uh, wait a sec. So you can pull this. Yeah, this is it. And you can pull it down also. And if you pull this, then it's gonna mix them together, you know, or it's gonna add more distance. Uh, this is a new option I selected because this is not the default option actually. I'm gonna show you the other stuff. And if you pull this little circle, it's gonna add more distance uh, horizontally. And there's like, uh, it has to be another stuff that uh, you make them smaller. It has to be, right? No, it's not. So anyway, they're gonna try to double click on some of these. I double clicked on this, I scale down, 
decrease the stroke. Anyway, it does does it like that. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty interesting. I also can, uh, of course, change the options, but it being somewhere a menu, I don't know. Anyways, repeat, click on options. As you can see here, we got the radio, we got the grid and the mirror. And this is the grid. You can select here, this was the default. We got the grid, we got the brick by row. So this is the brick by row. Like this is this goes here and this goes here, like it's in zigzag. Or there's like the other uh, variation, brick by column. And you can select how you want, how you want it. Flip rows, flip columns. You know, you got the options here. It's pretty interesting. And yeah. So this is, these are the new tools. They're pretty cool. Hope it's gonna help you. Uh, I can explore these further, you know, in the future and see what they can do more. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos also. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all that stuff and have a good day. Bye-bye.